300 watt DC motor with PI current control and PI speed control. There's the motor. This is called a servo brake. It provides motor torque load under computer control. Tachometer measures the motor shaft speed. This is the controller for the servo brake. This provides 228 volts DC and 70 milliamps to the motor field winding. It also provides plus and minus 228 volts pulse width modulation to the motor armature for the purpose of motor speed control. This is the three phase power source, 92 volts RMS at each leg with respect to ground. This ammeter indicates the motor armature current. This is another view of the motor, servo brake, and the tachometer. There's the 92 volt three phase source rectified to 228 volts DC. The IGBTs provide pulse width modulation through this H bridge. USB cable is connected to the computer which controls the gigabits. The ammeter measures the armature current another view of all three panels. This panel can control the servo brake manually or by computer through the USB cable. This protects the motor in case it overheats. Here's another view of the entire system. The oscilloscope shows the tachometer signal this block diagram shows the control system. That's the armature current driving the motor. That's the current sensor and the motor speed signal. The speed sensor or tachometer, that's the speed error signal and the armature current error signal. When these two error signals are zero, the motor will have the desired current and speed which is the purpose of this feedback control system. This is a graph of speed versus time. The vertical axis is percent of 2000 RPM. The horizontal axis is time from zero to one second. The set point is a speed of 19%. It's 19% of 2000 RPM. The speed begins at zero the final speed is nearly 19 percent. The error goes to zero when the speed reaches the set point. The settling time is about 200 milliseconds with the servo brake removed. The settling time is about 450 milliseconds with the servo brake attached but the servo brake is not providing active load torque. Now the servo brake is applying a ramp up and a ramp down load torque. And the speed error remains nearly zero after 500 milliseconds. The green is the armature current in percent of 1.5 amps. Now the load torque changes abruptly between 0.4 newton meters and 0.6 newton meters. And the speed error remains nearly zero, except for 2% deviations at the torque transitions. This is open loop. There's no feedback. 0.4 newton meter torque ramps up and down. The speed error climbs steadily to 6% due to the absence of feedback. 